Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Comme des Garçons Play, CDG Play, and here's the fun part, because we have an authentic one and we have a fake one, and we're gonna take a look at both and show you what's what. First, let's take a look at the tags and packaging that came with each of these shirts. On the left is what I got with the real shirt, and on the right is what I got with the fake ones. So both of them actually have very similar tags right here. They both came with play tags. Right here is the fake one. Right here is the real one. You really can't make out any difference between those. It would be essentially impossible they look identical. So let's turn them around. On the left, we do have a published price down here in yen. And then it's over here again. I don't read Japanese, so I couldn't tell you what it means. We've got the model number that we'll see later does match with the tag on the inside of the shirt. And then we have some other characters down here. Actually it doesn't say where it was made on this tag, whereas on the fake tag here, it does say made in Vietnam. This one, it does say 100% cotton, which the real one, again, does not have, and it has a model number here. Now, I didn't get any plastic packaging with the real one, but I did with the fake, and it does look pretty good. We've got the printed logo on there, and we also have some print on the back. This bag is not a toy, et cetera, et cetera. It's a pretty cheap plastic, pretty crinkly, but nothing much more to say about that, but it does look pretty legit. On this other tag that I got with the authentic one, that's the boutique where I bought it. And then we have the price, size, got the item number, and it says what it is, double emblem tea in burgundy, which does match the one I got. Again, don't pay too much attention to that because that is Canadian. I got it when I was visiting Toronto. Now let's get into the main attraction of these shirts, which is, of course, the embroidered heart logos. Again, real one right here, fake one right there. So taking a look at the real one first, obviously we have two hearts to uh, check out here. You can get a look, it's kind of vertically stitched straight up there, and some really, really tight stitching around there. The heart, they're a bit misshapen, on purpose, but they both look very similar. The eyes, they both have the tiniest bit of white coming down at the bottom. They don't totally touch the bottom, and they both just look pretty good overall. Now taking a look at the inauthentic one, you can see, again, very similar vertical stitching pattern on the heart. It looks just about identical to the real one, but the big giveaway here for me is the stitching on the edges of it. They're much further spaced than the authentic one. Other than that, there's a bit more space under the blacks in the eyes, but beyond that, it would be pretty hard to tell. Now let's take a look at the labels, one of the other most conspicuous parts of the shirt. And right away, you can see one big difference between the real one and the fake one, and that is the size tag. On the authentic one, it's coming down at the bottom in the middle of the tag. Whereas in the inauthentic one, it is coming through on the side. Another thing to note is that on the real one, there's actually a lot of space here underneath. Whereas in the inauthentic one, it's quite tight to the shirt. There's not nearly as much open space to play with here. In the inauthentic one, you can see it's starting to fray a bit. The fabric is a bit cheaper, not as well held together. And another thing you can notice is just some really weird stitching along the side here. There's a couple big ones, some small ones. Over here, it looks like it's almost double stitched and it's just quite a bit sloppier overall. Looking at the real one, it's very solid here. It's not coming apart at all. And it's one very clean, tight stitch along the sides. As far as the print goes, they're both nearly identical. And just like the labels, they would be really impossible for me to tell the difference just looking at the print. 
just looking at the stitching overall, you can also see that on the authentic one, it's very tight, clean stitches, whereas on the fake one, it's much more obvious, larger, more spaced out stitches. The last thing we're gonna look at are the inner tags, and this is where it gets really obvious and almost laughable. And I wouldn't take this at face value because even for a fake, this is a really bad tag. I've seen many fakes where they do try to mimic the actual tags of the CDG play shirts. So don't take this as if it has one that looks kind of like this that you're good because it's not necessarily the case. But taking a look at the inauthentic tag for what we've got, first of all, a really funny thing to note is that on the neck of the fake one, it says medium. Down here, it says large. That's some quality control issues that are definitely a dead giveaway. Link below, you've just got the type of fabric, some washing instructions. It's very plain. Other than that, it's all you really get. It's a thick tag, fairly shiny, glossy. And moving on to the real one, it's night and day. So this one, obviously you can see we've got lots of Japanese text, a little red stamp there right in the middle. We've got the model number, AZ. T226, and that does match the tag that we've got. We've got some washing instructions there, and it's just overall just a lot of characters. Now turning it over, you can see right here we've got the brand name. We've got, again, the model number that matches the other side in the label. Made in Japan, that's definitely a good sign. And down here it also says Fabrique au Japon for French. 100% cotton, so this is the first place the only place where we do see the fabrication on any of the tags. And then you've got your typical washing instructions. And again, it actually says 100% cotton twice on here. It's a single label folded over together, stitched very clean down at the bottom there. Well, there you have it. Now you know what a real CDG Play t-shirt looks like and what a fake one looks like. Leave your comments down below if you have any other thoughts on how to tell a real one, and I'll see you next time.